Hello, welcome to HO Talk. We are having a very hot discussion today with Sachin and the topic is absolutely tremendous. The topic for the today's discussion is how can we push a Docker image into Azure Container Registry. So let's get started and let's understand this concept from Sachin. Sachin, over to you. How are you doing today? All good, Abhishek. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for so, warm welcome and the introduction. <laughs> Thanks. So uh, now we wanted to get things understand from you, like how can we push a Docker registry, Docker uh, image into a ACR? Yeah. Azure Container Registry is a managed Docker registry service based on an open source Docker registry 2.0. And it allows you to store and manages image for all types of container deployment. So there is a slight difference from the Docker. It is Docker is public as well as private, but as your container list is somewhere, it is private and managed by okay. Azure only. Okay. So in so, today's demonstration. Yes. So that is that is only the difference uh, we see uh, from Docker to uh, ACR because the ACR, as for my understanding, as you said, uh, ACR is dedicated for, uh, for Azure itself, right? Whereas Docker yes. is a common uh, repository for uh, holding any sort of uh, supporting to the any sort of cloud. Yeah, indeed. Okay. So moving ahead, I'm sharing my screen. And in the meantime, once uh, we are able to yeah. see that, yeah, we can first, see I'll that. Be, first I'll be creating an ACR with the Azure CLI. Then we will identify how does it look like and after that, we will create a YAML based pipeline to deploy a Docker file from our repository to Azure Container Registry. Right. Okay. So, okay. So here we are. So this is. There are certain commands which I have already prepared. Right. What it does? It creates a AZ ACR. ACR stands for Azure Container Registry. Create a group with the group name Azure Talk RG, and I have captain name of Azure Talk ACR and the kept keeping the SQ as a basic, right? Okay. Yeah. So let it create. It should not take more than a couple of seconds. As soon as it creates, yeah. as soon as it creates, we will apply this command in order to like uh, to log in into the registry locally okay. and logging into the registry allows access from the local host to ACR. So you can manage the Docker images to log in into the ACR locally because we right. have to enable as the admin role as well. So as we can see, we have created this right later on. As I said, I'll allow this command, this command to get into that uh, ACR registry, which we, whichever we have created just a while ago. And once we are logged in into this, you will need to initiate a admin credential found in NCR. There is some error. Uh, I think login is succeeded. Yeah. 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 So there were certain issue related to proxy. So ensure that whenever you perform this command, so verify your proxy. So there was certain uh, bottleneck related to this. So which I have sorted out, right? Once you are able to execute this, the next thing is to enable your admin credential. Either you can go through this way or there is an another way which is like uh, once we have created our ACR, as you can see, the name we have kept as your talk ACR. If you open this, go to the access key and you can enable and disable from this level as well. As you can see, we have just enabled through our command. So by default, it is it comes disabled, but it has been enabled after running our command. So yeah, there are two yeah. possible ways to do this. Yeah. So, so far so good. Uh, let me move uh, back to the Azure pipeline. How can we create that? For that, I do have a file structure, which I'm using in last uh, couple of videos as well. My Cosmos DB app, which interacts with a 
uh, .NET Core base app which interacts with a Cosmos DB. But here we are concerned about the Docker file which I have written over here. Though I assume that most of you are familiar with how can we write Docker file? I would not jump into this section yeah. for now. Okay. Uh, my core purpose is to purpose is to create a pipeline. So here I go, go into the pipeline, create a pipeline over here. Like I have already plenty of pipeline, but we can ignore them for now. Create a new pipeline. There are various options available. So this is the classic editor which we have utilized into as your talk demonstration various time. For the sake of clarity of user, how can we utilize all these? Uh, please uh, advise to go through with those uh, videos as well. Yeah. So here we are about to choose Azure YAML. How can we write? I do have my own project, which is Cosmos DB. Once I select that, so there are various options available. For now, uh, there is a default which uh, Azure DevOps provide to us in order to utilize that. And it goes for build and push an image to Azure Container Registry. Once I select this, it opens a dialog box onto the right side. Here, I choose my own subscription. You may have various and go with as per your need. Once you go to this, go to this and I'm logging in with my account. Once you authorize, it will bring all those information which persist into my subscription. So we will choose our ACR registry, container registry, which we have created in earlier steps. Right. I, I'll keep my Cosmos DB app, the image name, and this is the Docker file, which it has already chosen. Yeah. Validate and configure. So it brings a lot of potential information and brings a default YAML which we will be using and we will be integrating few more steps in order to publish entire stuff to ACR. Okay. So okay. it won't take more than a couple of seconds. Yes, as you can see, it has uh, created few things for us. The, the common way so this YAML so file here, has been generated automatically by the process what you have taken last time? Yes, yes. So it brings a lot of the information uh, which uh, I'll be uh, sharing with you. So as you can see, we have some common variables that are entitled to use within this pipeline. So we do have a Docker registry service connection which has established when we had go through with the last step and the image repository will be Cosmos DB app, the container registry that uh, has already created. We have seen that and it is named as Azure Talk ACR, Azure CR container registry.io. The Docker file name is this. You can select your path, but uh, we, uh, we have opted this source directory for our purpose. And the tag will be the build.build .build ID, which generates at runtime. So we are utilizing the Ubuntu latest. And here are a few steps where we have stages. We can have various stages as per our need, but in our case, we do have only build stage and kept a name build and push stage. There can be various jobs. We have created one job and each job may have various step and task further. Right, as you can see by default, there is one task, but we have to add few more for our purpose that I have already copied. Uh, there is slightly issue. Let me. Because indentation really matters here. Yes, yes, yes. So. Okay. So the here, uh, yes, uh, we have uh, kept this code, uh, but uh, you, you can opt this option as well in order to see whatever we have uh, copied over here. So yeah. what it does, uh, it looks for the agent dot build directory and the content, whatever it is, it uh, 
reads the entire stuff and the target folder the target folder is all about uh, so every time whenever a build pipeline works then it creates a container in that so we are utilizing that container to keeping our stuff into this directory right yeah, yeah. so moving on to the another part which is the task related to the publish build artifact once you click on to the setting it opens this so the path to publish so this is the path which we have opted for now build dot artifact staging directory right and the yeah. folder name will be drop and the artifact publish publish location is this as your pipeline right okay. so the by default the publish location if you see here it shows as your pipeline here but whenever you open in form of yml yaml then it shows you container so every time whenever a build pipeline runs then as your devops manage a container behind the scene to manage all this stuff right the okay. another one is the docker in order to push that right here we have established a connection we are utilizing some runtime variable if i click on this docker registry service connection and here it uses this subscription id right okay and the another one is the repository if you notice the image repository is the cosmos db app so Im image repository is as per you need you can keep your convenient name it is a metadata of a folder where this specific docker file will reside in right right, right. so we are good to go with all the other stuff uh, the command is build and push the docker file path which we have mentioned over here as you can see the tag we will be using this so i am saving it with the in text statement we can see and so there are run. there are certainly three or four steps which uh, a yaml follows and finally you go for save and run yes and your build yes. job is started so this is the one of uh, yes this is one of an advantage of uh, using yaml uh, it is a uh, most uh, utilizing one of the format nowadays whenever you consider azure or another things yeah. whenever you consider aks then yaml is being used most of the times yeah. yes so if i click on this it has copied the file build and publish and build artifacts right into the certain folder as we have mentioned it has created a drop folder and building and pushing the entire stuff whichever we have written into our docker file so it scan entire docker file one by one and performs all those steps which we perform manually as well so we right. are not bothered about all those stuff it works it creates a various layer which docker file execution does so it won't take more than couple of minutes as soon as it completes there are some issue no source file were specified so uh, it has built but there were certain issue uh, let me uh, correct you what i had did for this purpose what i have done uh, there was a slightly different path so i have uh, reduced uh, the one level there was something uh, cosmos uh, path was mentioned over here so oh. what it does it uh, reads the source directory and looks after the directory file so earlier it was not finding a specific docker file into that directory so i have just changed this so kindly ensure whenever you built up uh, such yaml so mm -hmm. kindly uh, recheck this path okay right. so uh, it has been succeeded so let me jump into my acr as we can see here we have already seen this part we do have repository option must be as you can see into the services we do have repositories mm -hmm. so it should be have a one tag name folder a uh, cosmos db app which uh, we have kept if i open my yaml again 
then you would see that this is the image repository path which i have kept it has been created and further it has a tag name how does it come if you notice this is the tag name which is a yes. runtime value generated yeah. right yeah so it has created one folder if you open this so this is a specific docker file which has created with cosmos db app with certain tag values and you yeah. can pull this through this command yeah right so this is how we can utilize uh, as your devops in order to push your docker file into the as your container registry which can be further uses by as your Kubernetes services or many other services as per the need. Yeah. So, Abhishek, this is what I had uh, for the today demonstration. The entire code is placed over here. I have already yeah. made this app public so that our viewers can download and get their hand dirty. Yes. That's that's fantastic. You. Indeed, we have learned a very very good thing. Uh, container registry and uh, the comparison between the uh, Docker and the Azure container registry. And uh, tremendously, uh, we brought some information from uh, the Docker file to your local, or maybe you can say the private registry. That's fantastic yeah. uh, demonstration, uh, Sachin, very well. Uh, can you tell uh, how can the audience reach you? Yes, uh, guys, recently uh, I and Abhishek uh, started a Azure talk group as well. Uh, you can find out over the Facebook with the name hanging over the shoulder of Abhishek <laughs> as your talk. So we are publishing various good things uh, related to Azure DevOps and other pertinent to Azure. So into the future, we will be bringing more video demonstration with the practical approach, which may we, have. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, please. So that, that group is basically the area where you can reach us very, uh, you know, easily. And once you go to the Facebook and find out the Azure talk, Sachin and me will be there every day. We post at least two to three posts, uh, which will, are very beneficial for for the learners. In fact, uh, yes. and uh, we are always open to you know have a discussion on any subject, and we are ready to make uh, further videos based on your demand as well. So please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you, Sachin. Thank you very much for the day, yeah. and hope to get some more material from your side soon. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for the day. Bye-bye.